Hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Hey, you guys. All right, so it is time for us to work on this mansion, the Schmeet Costa mansion, to be exact. I think we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. If you haven't seen part one, go and watch part one. If you have seen part one, then this is part two. Let's go. This is me just kind of giving a tour of the inside before I show the after and then selling some of the things inside that I didn't really want or that I wasn't going to use. And then I started changing the outside because I obviously wanted a different color on the outside. I kind of hinted at that in the last video. So I chose blue and white because those are the colors that I felt suit. And then I worked in the backyard. Wow, this is moving faster than I thought. I worked on trees. But it's okay. Oh. Bitch, get out of mine. What are you doing? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> get out of here. Moving on in continuation, I started working on the second floor and I added some dimension because I felt like it was too blocky. This is taking a lot of concentration and time. I spent like two hours on this already. Here's just a short clip of me realizing there's no second floor. <laughs> so then I started working on a second floor, obviously, and surprisingly, I caught onto this tool very quickly. And then I started working on the roof, and I decided that I wanted a little tower, so I built a little tower. All right, you guys, I have finally finished the outside. Now I've just got to start working on the inside. Oh my god gosh this is exactly how i wanted it to be the inside here is so beautiful i am genuinely so proud of this build right here oh my gosh like i know i used one of their presets to give me the foundation to it but genuinely i'm not that good at building on this game yet i'm still learning the ropes so having that really i think helped me actually be able to build it now i just have to get a car and finish the inside <laughs> so you know the car is gonna be the harder part because they're very expensive okay you guys so it has been quite a while since i filmed that last bit i think it's been like a month maybe even a month and a half so let's get into the update shall we i think we shall i think we shall oh I forgot that I changed my character to this one. Hold on. Let's create a new character. I kind of want a new character for every series I do. Oh, do I not have those cute little pigtails? Okay, this is kind of cute, but something is off. So let me fix that, whatever it be. I think it might be the hair. Because, like, she's cute. I need those lazy pigtails. See, like, this is so cute. Okay. Oh wait, this one's kind of cute too. Ooh, bald spot. Never mind, never mind. I kind of want to change that to be the headpiece. <gasps> I forgot that I had these little fuzzy cuffs. Would I rather do it like that though? Because that's also so cute. Gosh. Oh, but what if I change the outfit to blue? This is so cute. So this is how it would look if it was blue, which is like so cute. I'm in a frenzy. I'm in a frenzy. Oh wait, these are cute though. <laughs> okay, well, long story short, I couldn't find anything else that I like for the back. So this is what I'm going with. Okay, let's give her a name. Blue Dreams. There we go. So sorry for interrupting myself like that. Back to the game. Here is the house. I'll give a full 360 real quick. All right, so here is the house and all of its glory. I think you can get why I wanted blue now. Um, hello? Excuse me. As I was saying, I think you can get why I wanted blue now. Let me give a tour of the inside. All right, so as soon as you enter, you've got a cinema roll on both sides yes of course and i changed the room color to like purple and then in here we've got heart rugs and a little circle in the middle 
We've got Melody to both sides. I felt like giving this blue room a pink accent really would just help tie it together, to be honest with you, and I think it worked. Here's the kitchen. It's got a nice purple light to it, cinema roll, low-key all over the place. I forgot to change the color of that frame. Okay, continuing. On this side, we've got just some of the crew over here. It was blue, and I felt like blue, pink, white, you know the deal, you know the vibe. Here is the dining room. It has a yellow vibe going on in here. Got the girlfriends chilling back there. This way is the garage. I did not get the same car that I had before. I got one that's low-key more expensive. Um, we don't talk about it, but I really, really wanted it because it's very similar to my actual car. It's the closest I can get in the game, at least. Here is the living room. Okay, I love this outfit and this tiara and everything, but this bald spot has got to go, too. Okay. In here is the living room. The living room has a little photo album, which I love. And then of course, pictures all over the place. Over here in this corner is the guest room, which I'll admit is pretty basic. It doesn't really have much going on. I wanted it to be simple. It's kind of like, I don't know. It reminds me of like an Airbnb or like a hotel or something like that. The only thing I really added was this picture right here. Everything else, I just kind of changed the color to blue. Here's the bathroom. Oh, there's lights in here. Oh, I didn't know that. Here's the bathroom though. I feel like it looks nice like this. Moving on. Over here, I have some cute pictures and I kind of wanted to give a bubble vibe, like some bubbles blowing, I don't know. Um, and there's some mirrors too mixed into it to add some spunk, I guess. It was a plain wall and now it's not, so there we go. So here's the upstairs. It's pretty open, but I kind of like it like that, mostly because of this middle area right here. Just being like a lookout spot that I can look up into. So I've got this cute little table over here with stuffed animals, hearts, cause I like hearts, a piano, a guitar, which I actually play both of. I don't mean in the game, I mean like in real life, by the oh way. <laughs> And then over here is my bathroom, question mark? Not exactly sure what this is. I have stars all over the ceiling though, cause it goes with the yellow. I've got this little cover. I've got blinds over here so that no creeps can watch me shower. I've got a vanity. I don't know, I think it turned out pretty cute even though it's not your usual bathroom. Oh, and this little chair. I added a little heart to it because I just, it's so cute. And then this way, actually no, I'm forgetting about a balcony. So then you have a balcony, which I mean, it's raining. Should I save that? I'm not fully done with it anyways. So you guys will see it later when I am working on adding things to it because it's pretty empty right now. Same with these other two balconies. There is one thing out here though. I do have a Cupid statue. There we go, Cupid statue, back inside now. And then this way, we have my room, which is beautiful, might I say. Like, would you look at this? And we got Gordon Ramsay on the TV. Like, come on now. <gasps> Where's my necklace? That's better. Now I have a necklace. Okay. And it's not raining anymore. So now I can show the balconies. So out here is this balcony, like I said, empty. There is a yoga mat, though, and I can use it. I can use it. Look at that. That's crazy. I have this little photo out here. You guys already saw Cupid, so I'll show you this plain balcony, I guess. I mean, hey, standing here, I could show you the backyard, though. <laughs> Got a little pavilion over there. I'll get into that later, though. Back to my room. Oh, got my little camera. Say cheese. Okay. Ew. What is this? Workout fatigue. Girl, you were out there for two seconds. I don't know if I'm able to change the photos on these up here, but I could over here on this wall, so I did. Yeah, I don't think it is. Anyways, this has a journal and a little laptop. Very cute. 
I need to change the color of this heart pillow. I might make it purple? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that looks cute. Got some little roller skates. Oh, I forget. Another patio. Did I just call this a patio? Bro. A wardrobe. <gasps> Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, okay. Oh wait, this is crazy though. You can buy clothes for this? Nice. Ew. <laughs> Interesting. Did I show this picture off yet? I don't know. I don't think so. And then I've also got some little crystals and perfume because this is literally how I decorate. I'm not even joking. My table has this on it as we speak. And then I have a little vanity makeup area, which I actually have in in my room as well. I think that was the whole house, was it not? Oh wait, outside, yes. Okay, so obviously you know what a pool looks like. And you saw this from the balcony. And then over here I have a little fire pit, which I think is so cute. And oh my gosh, that house is insane. Wow. Oh, I forgot I have a little window back here so I can see my car. Hmm. Also, a really, really tiny detail that I love is that these rocks out here low-key look like hearts and i love it you need to add a table out here yeah there we go even though it's like invisible i think it looks good okay shoot i'm like i'm like broke right now i think that's good for right now anyway for some reason nobody's on my side oh except for that little guy oh wow the water looks crazy the water looks so good wow <gasps> there it is dude look at the detail i thought i was crazy i didn't realize that i was like legit true the detail dude wow i also need to show you guys since there's no longer snow all over the place they also changed the beach so like we've got little chairs set out what's this oh sunscreen we've got little like i don't know these are so cute anyways i just thought this was so cute and i hadn't seen it yet We've got quite a few people in here. Yeah, like quite a few people. So where is everybody's houses? There's this one, which is like pretty cool. There's a lot of detail in that one. I can tell on the inside. And then this place, which has a lot going on. It's like a little town. This cute little house. I actually really love this one. We got this little place. I need to get shmoney. Is the city hall open? Like, can I go in there? It is. Ooh, I love the design on the floor. That's dope. Wait, so what's going on in here? This didn't used to be open, I don't think. I'm pretty sure it was, like, completely closed off and I couldn't go inside, like, at all. But I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I wonder if I can go back here. We'll see in a second. Okay, so it is different on both sides interesting so can i go in there no it's just a small little can i go in here though also no okay i mean this is cute though but i hope that they eventually open it up so that we can go in there too i can't wait for them to finish this map like i'm excited to see where this continues to go because I know that they have big plans for it, and I can just see so many different ideas that can be sprung out of this. Alright, I think that's about all we're gonna do for today. There was the update and the tour of the Schmidt Castle Mansion. Thank you guys for coming along with me on this little journey. I hope it was fun for you because it was amazing for me. Bye bye Dude, I swear, you can tell what house is mine based on my car and by my character.